How's it guys? Welcome to this week's video. Um, this week is going to be a little bit different. And um, what I'm going to do is just chat a bit about the topic of um, angles uh, when you're fielding. So just to, just to make clear, um, I'm just talking about the general sense with this topic. And it can change um, depending on the conditions or the game plan or even the batsman. Alright, so first off we're going to chat about seam bowling and then as a fielder which angles would be optimal um, in which situations. So, as you can see here I have a basic field, um, let's say in the, in the first 10 overs in the power play of a seam bowling. Um, so, as a fielder, if you have a guy bowling and he is, is quite quick, he has a bit of gas and especially when the ball is new. Um, what you going to want to do is all the fielders on the offside you're going to want to move a bit backwards so all of the fielders are going to want to move a bit more backwards a bit more square so the reason for this is because the bowler is bowling quite quick and especially when the ball is new the batsman is going to play the ball a bit later so which is what's going to happen then is the ball is not going to go to the conventional fielding um, positions. So it's, it's, if he, if he, for instance, playing a cut shot and he's playing it a bit later than usual, he's not going to go straight to point. He's going to go a bit behind point. All right. So hope you guys hope that makes a bit of sense. But that's the reason for that. Okay. So if the bowler is quite quick and the ball is new especially in a power play, um, usually you're going to want to go a bit behind. You're going to go a bit squarer as a fielder. This gives you the opportunity, a better opportunity to be um, exactly in the, in the position where the batsman is going to be hitting the ball if he does make contact with the ball. And then same thing happens with the leg side. You're going to have to go a bit more square, more behind. All right, reason for this, again, um, he's not going to have enough time to be able to, let's say, for instance, if he pulls the ball, to pull the ball to square leg or in front. No, he's not going to have enough time. He's going to go, if he pulls the ball, for instance, behind um, square leg. So that's the reason for this angle change as soon as a, a seamer comes on or it is starting the play with the seamer um, and it's quite quick with the new ball then this is usually what you want to be looking to do as a fielder all right guys so moving on to the off spin um, so what's going to happen with the off spin so you have a basic field for for spin um, again don't worry about the field um, we're just chatting about the topic of angles um, so the field placement yeah doesn't really matter so What's going to happen with the off spinner, um, assuming we, we have a right arm off spinner bowling to a right handed batsman. Um, so what happens, where's the ball turning? The ball is turning in towards the batsman. With that in mind, what do you think needs to happen to these fielders? So what needs to happen is all of the fielders needs to rotate anti-clockwise um, if that makes sense so if the ball is turning into the batsman it's really limiting the amount of width that the batsman have to play so it's gonna be super difficult for the batsman to play the ball very square um, on the offside so as I said what needs to happen is all these fielders needs to move around that side and then even there cow needs to move around mid wicket even square leg needs to move around the reason again for this if the ball is turning into towards the batsman um, it's turning into his natural arc on the leg side so he's going to hit it more square on the leg side but simultaneously on the off side it's going to be super difficult for him to hit the ball square on the offside unless he has a lot of width um, or if the deck doesn't turn a lot or something. 
but usually you're gonna have to move your feet a little bit straight on the offside and then square on the leg side um, because for instance let's say the ball pitches outside off which is fine you're going to be able to hit it square but it turns into you so it's going to be super difficult to hit the ball square on the offside you're going to hit it a bit straighter so you're going to have to move a bit more straight on the offside and a bit more square on the leg side to give yourself the best chance to be in the perfect position um, for where the ball is going to go if the batsman makes contact with the ball all right guys so moving on to leg spin it's exactly the opposite as off spin for exactly the same reasons so let's say we have a right arm um, leg spinner bowling to a right arm batsman so the ball spinning away from the batsman so it's creating more width for the batsman so it's going to be much easier to hit square on the offside and it's going to be much harder to hit square on the leg side it's going to be hitting a bit more straight on the leg side and then a bit more square on the offside so what needs to happen to the field all right so on the offside you're gonna need to move squarer everybody here is gonna need to move a bit squarer all right squarer and then as you could have as you can probably know by now on the leg side everybody is going to be moving straighter 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 all right again the reason for this ball is turning away from a batsman it's creating width so it's creating more space for the batsman to play on the offside and less space for the batsman to play on the leg side all right and um, so that's the reason for these fielders moving clockwise this time everybody's moving clockwise all right um, to give yourself again the best chance of being in the in the place where the batsman is going to play the ball. So yeah, guys, that is the basics of the topic of angles. Again, I just want to make clear this is just a general sense of this topic. So these are not always like this. It can change. The angles might change again depending on the conditions on the day, depending on the game plan that your team might have or the bowler might have, um, depending on the bowler skill level. And then also depending on the batsman um, let's say the batsman strengths or weaknesses um, so yeah it can all depend but this is just a generally uh, general mindset of, of what happens to angles in fielding um, when certain bowlers ball so yeah guys I hope you enjoy um, study this make sure you know this it's gonna make things much easier for the captain of your team and then again for the bowler especially he doesn't have to check before every ball um, if everybody's in uh, the right angle so yeah that is the basics hope you guys enjoyed cool have a lucky week